presentation is about um, Industry 4.0, which is an, you're probably all familiar with, um, an industrial um, initiative um, about digitalization in, in industry. And it's, uh, the talk is called about blockchain-based protocol for economical communication industry in Industry 4.0. Um, Alexander Kapitov. One, one. Uh, oh, let's get, just click here. Uh, good day, dear colleagues. Uh, my name is Alexander Kapitonov, and uh, I'm from St. Petersburg, Russia, Itmo University. And uh, my topic related with the uh, Industry 4.0 and uh, blockchain used inside. It's mainly technical topic uh, in, in my sense because uh, I will present some uh, cases where we use the blockchain for solution um, the like a real life case. Okay, let's go. Uh, right now uh, we facing with a problem that's uh, ma the main part of the service provider who provide the protocol of the communication between the different system uh, between the parts of the automated control system for uh, factories uh, for uh, any equipment additional what placed in in the factory inside uh, provided by uh, like a centralized provider where you should send the transaction inside and uh, someone uh, serve it, uh, make the calculation and give you a, an answer or addressing your transaction to another one. And uh, we start to thinking how uh, to solve that problem when uh, the whole transaction collected in the one point. Because in that case you have the a uh, single point of failure, it's not a good case and uh, you should provide the maximum security for that uh, point and uh, some, sometimes it's, uh, it has w w very high cost. And uh, we start uh, to learn the materials or research of our colleagues. At first one, uh, it's uh, Viktor Glushkov. It's uh, one of the pioneers of the economical cybernetics. And he proposed to create the global uh, automated system for controlling uh, the economy inside the country. And it was uh, in the middle of the uh, last century. And uh, the second one, it's Ronald Coast, and his idea about a uh, new institutional economy and uh, his work, the nature of the firm. Because in that work, he explained uh, that the market can find the point for the company where that company will be useful for the market and it will be, um, it, it will have some optimal position. And the size of that company will be uh, bordered by, by market and uh, market control the size of the companies uh, what should be uh, on the market. And th we th thought that Sometimes autonomous systems or cyber physical systems, uh, it's a connection of the different elements, actuators, sensors, and control system. And uh, protocol inside, co communication protocol inside. It looks like uh, usually a company, but it's uh, uh, fully autonomous. Uh, that's why we decide to apply that ideas uh, to the real cases with the autonomous system and the cyber physical systems. And what we got? We 
organize uh, the communication between different cyber physical system through the Ethereum blockchain, the smart contracts usage. Uh, whereas smart contracts, it's uh, like a uh, description of the business process uh, inside the blockchain and uh, the cyber physical systems and autonomous systems, it's like uh, separate autonomous agents uh, which communicate uh, to each other with the coins and use the market relations uh, to exchange the information and try to find the optimal position in the market. Uh, what technologies we use uh, for that cases? At first, it's Nix OS. Um, it's uh, one of the uh, implementation of the open source <coughs> operation system and uh, you can tune uh, this system for the separate autonomous agent, uh, like cyber physical system, with description of all uh, elements. What, what it should has, for example, what sensors, what controllers, what actuators should be, and what drivers should be used for the, that cyber physical system. Uh, the next one, it's a robot operating system. It's a uh, one of the uh, framework for, to control uh, the cyber physical system inside uh, with the uh, mathematical implementation of the control laws and drivers of the uh, driver realization for the actuators and the sensor. And the last one, it's Ethereum blockchain uh, with the smart contracts, what we used for organizing the communication between separate system when uh, it presented like a, a separate autonomous agents which can provide the own service or own product. Because right now, you know, uh, there are several cases with the lights out factories, for example, in China, and right now, lights out factory can be like a separate cyber physical system which can communicate with other lights out factories through the Ethereum blockchain with the, our software. Okay, a uh, few words about network ecosystem. How we organize uh, the communication and what we put in the site uh, outside of the blockchain and what information we settle in the blockchain. Uh, of course, uh, the settling information inside blockchain, it's uh, uh, cost, cost of money. It's, uh, and if you want to publish your ask and bits, it's not suitable to uh, put all ask and bits in the blockchain. That's why for uh, ask and bits, we're using the um, light, uh, uh, light channel, light communication channel. It's uh, IPFS um, publisher subscriber, and uh, or we hope uh, of the releasing Whisper in the Ethereum blockchain, and uh, I think we will shift to Whisper. But right now, it's publisher su subscriber in the um, IPFS, inter internal play plain file system application. <laughs> okay, uh, the cyber physical system, in that case, publishing the uh, bits, uh, I, I can uh, provide you a service, I can provide you a product, and uh, in this bits description of that service or product with the cost, parameters, uh, the time, and um, other uh, information about addresses, that's all. Uh, and users ask uh, the same information in the same way. Uh, I, I want to get that service for that price. Do you agree with me or not? And when you, uh, we find uh, the <coughs> ask and bits which, uh, which uh, equals, we match it and settle in the blockchain. After uh, that, in the blockchain, create 
um, the smart contract with the li with the liabilities of each side and uh, the user's money kept in that smart contract address. After that, cyber physical system starts to uh, complete the task to provide the service or product. And after completing the task, uh, cyber physical system publishing the log file of the work. Uh, in, in the robot operating system, there is technology uh, uh, for collecting data. It's named a ROS back file. And ROS back file uh, keep the structure of the system and keep the information about the system. That's uh, after that step, uh, we start uh, to uh, the checking of that file. The, w was the real work or not? And in, the, in this uh, step, we um, asking the observing network. It can be uh, additional uh, cyber physical autonomous agent or, uh, I don't know, network of the cameras, network of the sensors. Uh, independent sensors, of course, not inside the uh, pro <coughs> cyber physical uh, system, but making the work. And uh, if the observing network given the improvement uh, of the work, that's okay. We finalize uh, the, the liability contract, smart contract, and send the money to cyber physical system, and that's all. Okay, uh, this is the first case what we are working on. It's a, a Ducky Town project uh, where the autonomous cars in the small city uh, driving to road and here we realize how to make the autonomous uh, taxi service with the blockchain and liability contracts. As you can see, uh, the, uh, the car gets um, the ask to get this special point in the town and uh, start to moving through the pass from the start point to the uh, <coughs> last point mentioned by the user and uh, in, in each step, cars uh, record um, the state of the system. And after finishing the work, it publishing the results in the internal plane file system, IPFS. And in this case, we realized observer network with the PRISM algorithm. It's a probability model checker uh, to get uh, which matches the features inside the file and uh, try to compare it with the initial model. And in that case, that's okay. The work is done. This is uh, the main scheme for that case. You know, autonomous agents, smart contract, and customers at the client and validator is a, as a prism algorithm probabilistic model checker. Okay, uh, this structure scheme. And the last one, uh, it's uh, industry 4.0 case, uh, where uh, we uh, demonstrate how the work autonomous markets uh, and the autonomous factories how they playing on that markets. And as you can see, uh, there is uh, four markets and uh, the investors put the money on, on the each market as they want. And the robots start to work, providing the product on each market uh, depending on the size of the money on each market. Они могли это распределение сделать. Okay. То есть сначала Thank инвесторы распределяют капитал, затем распределяют. Ну, смотрят на это распределение, определяют сместить, изменить свое 
this closing. Thank you very much, Alexander. I think there is um, time for one short question. Uh, is there any question in the audience? Oh, here on the back side. Oh. <laughs> How do you ensure the valid in your network is not corrupt? That people verify. Uh, how we uh, organize, uh, it, it, it's something like ranking system should be. Uh, you know, uh, if the validator che cheating, nobody wants to use uh, that, that validation. That's the main idea. But uh, mainly uh, the validators, it's an uh, autonomous uh, cyber physical system. And uh, you know, uh, the robots don't lie. One of the points. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thanks for your attention. Any questions, you can come to me and ask. <laughs> Thank you.